uh, LHRH agonists uh, are compounds that were developed a long time ago by uh, really the discovery of a uh, Nobel Prize winner, Andrew Shelley. And he noted that when you injected these agonists, what happened was that testosterone went down. Before it went down, it went up because they were an agonist. They sort of agonized the receptor and had an opposite effect. But it, what they did is they sort of desensitized it over a period of time, and that's they're called agonists. Now, the ideal way would be an antagonist where you just shut things down, the, the LH and FSH right away. Uh, that never was developed for a whole bunch of challenges uh, in volume and allergic reactions and things like that until a few years ago. Um, companies were able to develop an antagonist. And so there are some advantages of antagonist over agonist. Um, there are some disadvantages too, and the disadvantages has to do with the uh, dosing, that it has to be every month, at least for now. And so uh, what's, what's evolved over the years of studying here is there's probably 10 to 15 little advantages of an antagonist over an agonist. Um, and we, we don't know what all these things mean. Uh, do they really translate into a better, you know, better outcome? We think it does, but we, you know, need to prove it. And there's things like, you know, testosterone goes up and it's flare. Uh, we know that if somebody has a spinal cord uh, issue and flaring the tumor, they can become a paraquadriplegic. So that's, that's probably the most egregious thing that can happen. And then there's other, you know, other things like uh, um, cardiovascular and renal failure and things like that. Um, the, the PSA declines quicker, volume reduction, and uh, alkaline phosphatase reduction, FSH, and uh, just a whole bunch of things that are, you know, that you just sort of throw them, they stick on the wall, so to speak, that may matter. You know, and that th these are being studied right now, and I think we're going to have a clearer answer in the next couple of years, you know, are these distinct advantages really, that what we think are advantages really real or not?